Well, from education and water resources, let's talk health now. And the Techiman Municipal Director of Health, Dr. Kusi Fusuhini, has bemoaned the accelerating costs of medical and surgical supplies on healthcare services across the municipality. This, according to him, is adversely affecting general healthcare delivery in the area as the NHIA service uh, providers are the most affected. Anas Abit now reports. Across the country, hospitals are facing serious challenges, particularly those providing NHIA services. Healthcare costs, which were already increasing before the COVID-19 pandemic, are now accelerating at an even faster pace, thereby affecting general healthcare delivery in the Techima municipality. Municipal Director of Health Services, Dr. Kusi Fusuhine, who was speaking at the 2023 annual health review meeting, said this is adversely affecting all NHIA accredited facilities across the municipality. Now, um, we all know what is happening in the country in terms of economics. And then the prices of drugs are skyrocketing by the day, I mean, due to inflation. So now it's a little diff difficult to keep pace with supply of drugs. So let's say what an NHI investment could buy, say last year, you can't buy the same quantity of drugs, um, I mean, this year. Uh, so it's, it's, it's making it a little challenging for the facilities across board, private, public and CHAG. And that is the feedback we as a health directorate we are getting from, from these facilities. Dr. Fosuhini laments that there is the need for a national discussion on the need to cushion institutions that are into the importation of drugs to help address the rising costs of the commodity and in return save the various health facilities in the area. I think what our advice is as a country probably is it's time we looked at it holistically and started some di dialoguing on it. Can we give some amnesty to, to importers when it comes to consumables drugs as a way of mitigating the effects. This, it calls for, I mean, broader uh, collaboration, uh, broader collaboration, yeah. Municipal Chief Executive Otechiman Benjamin Yaojako on his part admonished health professionals within the municipality to remain committed towards providing quality health care to the people. I want to commend all of you for your commitment to duties within the year under review. We know of challenges that you, you are going through as health personnel. But in spite of these challenges and the advent of COVID, the monkeypox, the polio, the rabies, we all collectively came together and then pursue our responsibility as health personnel to arrest these cases. So I want to admonish that let's continue to um, commit to duties without any anticipation for immediate returns. He was however quick to note that government remained committed towards providing the needed support to health facilities and health professionals across the area. The government is aware of the situation and we are constantly working to improve on our service provision and our commitment to sustain the NHIS. What is left is for you to please do your part. Let us do our part. Um, having said this, the Municipal Assembly, as you are all aware, is also committed to collaborate with you and even improve on our collaboration. The, we continue to support you with logistics to enhance access to CHIPS facilities. The meeting also provided an opportunity for participating stakeholders to provide valuable insights into their performances as well as factors affecting their services. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Techima.